Good afternoon. Today I'm going to show you how you can create AWS Lambda functions using serverless. So serverless, it's a, a framework so that you can easily deploy uh, your Lambda functions from your uh, PC using just uh, command line instructions. So let's get started. At first, you need to install serverless in your PC. It's, you can install that using NPM or maybe you can download that. So I, I have already installed it, but let me show you how can I, how can you install that? I'm checking that conditions get started. Here it is. If you have already installed NPM, then you can just run NPM install minus G serverless. I have already installed in my local. So it should only show that I have already installed, but we can run it. So this is a uh, installing the npm and once the installation is done you can use serverless cli tool to uh, create a new project the project language can be node.js python java c sharp whatever you choose and then uh, you can deploy your lambda functions from your uh, terminal so that's the beauty but before that what you have to do is to create an IAM role that will uh, have access to uh, Lambda and uh, also CloudFormation S3 so that uh, they can deploy using that IAM user permissions. So while it is uh, installing, let me show you how you can create an IAM user. So I am in my AWS console, and then I'm going to go to IAM. And over there, I will create an IAM user who have access. For the simplicity of this tutorial, I will just uh, add users with administrative access. Serverless user. Administrative access. But you can feel free to choose your own uh, permission sets. Okay, the user has been created. Here's the access key. Copy. Okay, uh, in the terminal, I will just run AWS on Google. Then I will provide my access key here. Also, the access secret. The region is uh, AP Southeast one. That is the region I am now. Output format JSON, that's okay. So here I have uh, already uh, now configured my IAM user into my AWS CLI. Now using serverless uh, CLI tool, I'm going to create a new project. So if I if you have to create a new project, you just uh, go for the examples here. Just a moment. Examples that I'm going. To No yes.
Okay, here it says SLS, but we are going to use serverless command. So if SLS is not working, SLS is not working, you can use the full form serverless. So uh, first we are going to create a Node.js project here. So the command is create template AWS Node.js path my services. So I'm just going to copy this part. I will use serverless and uh, template AWS Node.js path. Hello world. Okay, now it will create a new project for me with all the uh, necessary files required for deploying a Node.js application. Might take some time, I think one or two minutes. Have patience, have a cup of coffee or tea and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, this is been done. If I go to the folder, I will see this the files let me open that in yes code samples so this is the project if i open this there's three files on this particular load and another list among file this is the main file that we are going to use to control the Lambda functions. Here it says provider AWS Node.js runtime 12. So at this moment, this is the latest version of Node.js that we are using. Then uh, region, we can specify the region. Otherwise, it will take the region that is configured in your local. And stage, it can be dev, prod, staging whatever you choose. By default, it's dev, but if you want to choose a different staging, you can just uncomment that and make the stage to prod if you are required. Region, I'm going to use uh, AP Southeast one. Okay. Then these are all fine functions hello handler handler.hello i keep it as it is but you can change others we do not need to modify so let's keep as it is then let's go to the handler.js where we are just uh, just a hello world function so this is the body let's modify the message Save it. Now, uh, what we have to do is SLS deploy. That's it. So I'm opening the terminal here. So This is the first time, so it is creating a CloudFormation stack. Actually, the CloudFormation stack in the background will upload the uh, Lambda function from an S3 bucket. This might take some time because the first time, once you have uh, completed the first time, uh, then the time will not take that much. Usually it should only deploy the code to your uh, S3 bucket and from there to the number. Okay, while it's deploying, let's go to our 
AWS Lambda console where we will see that at this moment there is no Lambda functions here. It's empty, but within a few minutes, we will have our Lambda functions deployed properly. Okay, it's been taken two minutes almost. Let's refresh here. Yeah, here it is. We have our uh, function, hello world, prod, hello. So prod is the environment. If we have multiple functions like day of staging, we will have multiple number of functions. So if we click here, we will see that our uh, applications is in, and it is exactly as we have coded. Let's test it. Okay, this is the response. I think you got the point. So uh, this is a very easy way to create Lambda functions from your terminal and you can just deploy it to AWS without uh, having manually transfer it. Manual transfer machine is uh, quite annoying. And sometimes if the file size is quite big, then you don't get actually deploy directly, you have to make a zip file and then upload it to the zip file and then deploy it. It's a very tedious process. And also it's very hard to uh, manage those lot of um, the function, number functions um, if you all manage manually. Using this process, you can automate the, your uh, deployment. You can create a dev lambda, staging lambda, and production lambda based on your requirement. And then using those uh, three stages, you can deploy stage one by one. So that's that's it from me for today. This is a very uh, basic example. And uh, using this example, you can now modify these Lambda functions and you can add more logics to it, like sending mail, sending SMS, etc. And whatever you want to do, you can do everything using this insight here. And after that, you just run the code server is deployed and your function is deployed. So that's it for today. I hope that helps you to uh, create more serverless Lambda functions. If you like this video, please uh, subscribe to my channel and please comment below that uh, what are the uh, Lambda functions that you have written or which language you prefer to use for the Lambda functions. Thank you everyone. Have a nice day. Bye bye.